Why don't Florida historians use bookmarks? Because they always want to be on the right page of history. Welcome, history enthusiasts, to our journey through historical Florida. We'll be exploring eight remarkable places that have shaped the state's past. From the oldest city, St. Augustine, to the first free African settlement, Fort Mose, and even to the stars at Kennedy Space Center. Buckle up as we delve into these and more. Get ready to take a step back in time and explore the rich history of the Sunshine State. Our first stop is St. Augustine, the oldest continuously occupied European established settlement in the continental United States. Founded in 1565 by Spanish explorers, St. Augustine is a city deeply rooted in history and culture. Its rich Spanish influence is evident in the city's architecture, cuisine, and even its language. St. Augustine is home to an array of historical landmarks that tell tales of the city's past. The Castillo de San Marcos, a 17th century star fort made of coquina, stands tall as a symbol of the Spanish Empire's once vast reach. Another notable landmark is the Fountain of Youth, an archaeological park that purports to be the site of Ponce de Leon's legendary spring. Whether you're a history buff, a foodie, or just a curious traveler, St. Augustine has something to offer. The city is more than just a destination. It's a journey back in time. St. Augustine is a living testament to Florida's Spanish colonial past. Moving forward in history, we arrive at Fort Mose, the first legally sanctioned free African settlement in what would become the United States. Once upon a time, in the early 18th century, Spanish Florida provided a beacon of hope for those escaping the harsh realities of slavery in the English colonies. It was here, just a couple of miles north of St. Augustine, that Fort Mose was established in 1738. A testament to resilience and the human spirit, Fort Mose was more than a physical fortification. It was a community, a refuge, a symbol of freedom. Here, brave men, women, and children built lives of their own, far from the chains of their past. They created a vibrant community that thrived amidst adversity, contributing significantly to the cultural and historical fabric of Florida. The fort's residents served as the first line of defense for St. Augustine, demonstrating their loyalty and courage in the face of conflict. Today, Fort Mose stands as a symbol of the quest for freedom. Next, we visit Pensacola, known as the City of Five Flags because it has been ruled by five different countries. The city's history is like a rich tapestry, woven with threads from Spain, France, Britain, the Confederate States of America, and of course, the United States. Each of these nations left its mark, creating a unique blend of cultures and eras that can still be seen and felt today. At the heart of Pensacola lies the historic Pensacola Village, a complex of 28 properties that whisper tales from the past. It's like stepping into a time machine where each building tells a story of a different era, and no visit to Pensacola would be complete without a stop at the Naval Air Station. This place is not just a testament to modern American military prowess, but also a nod to the city's maritime history, which dates back to the 16th century. Pensacola's rich history is a blend of cultures and eras. We now journey to Key West, the southernmost point in the continental United States. Key West, a gem nestled in the Florida Keys, is steeped in a rich and vibrant history. This city, once a bustling port for the shipping industry, played a pivotal role in the Civil War as a Union stronghold. Key West's strategic location made it a vital outpost where Union forces could monitor Confederate shipping routes. This confluence of history and geography shaped the city we see today. But the history of Key West doesn't end with wars and shipping routes. Oh no. It's also a sanctuary for creative minds. The city's relaxed, tropical vibe attracted none other than Ernest Hemingway, one of America's greatest literary figures. Hemingway called Key West home for more than a decade, writing some of his most famous works right here. Key West, a city of sunsets, history, and Hemingway. Our next stop is Miami, the Magic City, known for its rapid growth in the early 20th century. Miami is a vibrant blend of the old and new, boasting an impressive skyline that mirrors its rich past. One of the city's most iconic gems is the Art Deco Historic District, with over 800 preserved buildings dating back to the 1920s and 30s. The district's pastel-colored structures and neon signs are a testament to a bygone era, yet they continue to pulse with life just like the city itself. Next we have the Freedom Tower, a beacon of hope for many Cuban immigrants who sought refuge in the United States during the 1960s. This symbol of freedom stands tall, reminding us of the city's multicultural heritage and resilience. The influence of Cuban immigrants is palpable throughout Miami, 
From the rhythmic sounds of salsa music to the tantalizing aroma of Cuban coffee. Miami, where history and modernity meet. We now launch into more recent history at the Kennedy Space Center, the launch site of every human space flight since 1968. This shrine of space exploration has seen the likes of the Apollo program, our first steps into the moonlight, a giant leap for mankind. Then came the shuttle program, a workhorse of space travel, ferrying astronauts and equipment to the International Space Station for over three decades. Today, the Orion program takes center stage, preparing us for long-duration deep space missions and who knows, maybe even Mars. The Kennedy Space Center isn't just a testament to our past achievements, it's a beacon for the future of space exploration. It's where we prepare to delve deeper into the unknown to answer questions we haven't yet thought to ask. It's where we step, not just into a rocket, but into a future of endless possibilities. The Kennedy Space Center, where history is made and the future is born. Our final stop is the Everglades, a unique ecosystem that has been inhabited for thousands of years. This vast, watery wilderness, often referred to as the River of Grass, has been home to a rich tapestry of life, including numerous native tribes. The Seminoles and Miccosukee, for instance, have thrived here, living in harmony with the land and water for centuries. In the early 20th century, efforts were made to protect this unique landscape. In 1947, the Everglades National Park was established, ensuring the survival of this diverse ecosystem for future generations. The conservation efforts are ongoing as the Everglades faces threats from pollution, invasive species, and climate change. Organizations and individuals alike are working tirelessly to preserve and restore this natural wonder, recognizing its value not just to Florida, but to the world. The Everglades, a testament to the enduring beauty of nature. That concludes our journey through historical Florida. We've traversed the breadth of this sunshine state, unearthing the rich tapestry of its past. From the cobblestone streets of St. Augustine, the nation's oldest city, to the first free African settlement at Fort Mose, we've glimpsed the early chapters of America's story. We've sailed through Pensacola, the city of five flags, where five different nations have left their mark, down to Key West, the southernmost point. We've danced with the ghosts of pirates and sipped the same ocean breeze as the literary greats who found their muse here. In the magic city of Miami, we've discovered a cultural mosaic, a testament to the city's ever-evolving identity. We've ventured to the stars at the Kennedy Space Center where humanity's greatest achievements in space exploration have been launched. And finally, we've marveled at the natural wonder of the Everglades, a unique ecosystem that's home to countless species. Each of these places tells a different tale, a piece of the puzzle that is historical Florida. And though our journey ends here, the stories continue. They're waiting for you to explore them, to feel their pulse, and to make them a part of your own story. If you enjoyed this trip through time, make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video. Thanks for joining us on this historical journey through the Sunshine State.